Hello and welcome everybody. So sorry for the little delay getting uh, getting rolling. Oh god. Uh, so sorry. I left my stream unmuted and got blasted in the eardrums with my own voice and I hated that. My name is Sokakon. <laughs> I'm here casting with my good friend Drunk Rat. Um, and uh, we have uh, DJ Soda here on cams. Ready for an exciting game where we get to open up with a classic, um, the King's Row. Um, we have a match tonight between, uh, what is it? Uh, totally, I love turtles, turtles or something like that. I don't know. Turtles. Um, turtles. I love them. Headed up by the turtles. I love them. Virgin. That's it. Thank you. Goodness. And then we have um, as a, we're going to call BBB Bobbert uh, Banana Boys. Um, that is not who they are. Um, it is <laughs> oh, not no. Dirtman. Let that be known. It's also it not, not Pookie Bears, Bears and Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Let that also be hey, known. We did it. We did it. Um, we're here. We're anyway, live. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we are going to go ahead and jump into the game. Our captains are ready. As we're loading in, Dan, you want to give us a rundown of the, loss, uh, the rosters here? Give us uh, who's on uh, Turtles I Love yeah. and who's on Tilt. I'd love to. This is only game number two of the fresh season here, so in both teams coming in here with the zero zero record, but Tilt's gonna be Mercury Turtle, Hawk, Fish, Papa Brown Man, Lazy Turtle, and Blue Seventeen, otherwise known as Blue Blood, if you wanna go that far with it. Uh, no, and we don't. Nah, it's just blue, right? That's and right. For for Bobbert and company, that's gonna be Bobbert, Timmy, Sizer, Lazy Avenger, Fire Chicken, and Ziggy rounding out that squad here we'll see him coming up in just a second uh anything that you think is going to be too spicy Ready for king's for row i mean you know a classic map we, the the daring aren't we chats immediately started flying in but yeah uh, mid-season patch I'm a little, today yeah i'm i'm not excited about that either i gotta be honest with you um does anybody like malga because malga 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 um holy shit i can't believe that you go in and buff the tank that everybody's already complaining about across all ranks kind of wild anyway um I, you know i'm sad to see that there's a roadhog here but you know he's on attack he could change his mind we'd love to see a classic ryan v ryan here um, we've got a widow v widow coming out and the banana man here which is our blue 17 um, for those who are not familiar and uh who's that a uh, fire chicken over there on the Widowmaker for the side of triple b and the banana man He's the junk rat who uh, thinks he's gonna think twice about conk mining moving forward. Um, double, double, uh, like long mid range hit scan here um, coming out from our lovely turtle lovers. And um, gonna be a lot of pressure here, especially because they only have the roadhog. They've got to play for this pick. And that hook down, there's not gonna be much they can do. They're getting to walk in kind of freely here, though. Um, notable. Fire Chicken here has swapped over to the Ash off of that Widowmaker. A Timid does fall to the flank angle uh, Widowmaker who does get low. Hawk and Mercury Turtle gonna be taken out by the Junkrat on the flank though. Junkrat just running through. Papa Grandma has no help. He's gonna get out, you know, Ziggy, which is pretty cool, but is gonna die. Lazy Turtle trying to get Fire Chicken on the way out with that nade, but unable to do so. Does escape with his life though, so that's pretty nice. But, um, you know, the Roadhog here, first minute takes the point. Yeah, I mean, generally speaking, things went down about as you expected, right? Just kind of poke things out, wait and see if your Widow can convert on a kill. Not your Ash, right? You see the Ash 1v1 goes to Mercury Turtle there to start off the defense on second point. Nice way to begin. Hopefully you're going to get a good hold at Arches. Pop around when like trying to take this space, but right now, you just kind of really get indecisive about company it. hanging out. You know? Yeah, you, you get that pick. Out. Yeah, like you get that pick, but you don't really put a lot of pressure on for it. And no Papa Grandma in here already with the shield pretty low. Looks like uh, our, our friendly neighborhood Widowmaker has uh, managed to miss the grapple, finally gets the grapple, and then Papa Grandma falls over before anything can happen. Yeah, just on the back foot, giving up so much space for free, and that's going to be so troublesome when you have such high damage coming out with this Ash and this uh, Junkrat. Not to mention the damage that you're getting put out from the Roadhog, too. Right? Yeah, well... That's and really the, the value and the that Ryan, like has the opportunity to offer this defense is I've got a shield so you don't have to worry about getting booked. And then when your Ryan dies, you just kind of get run over afterwards. At least the Zarya now can do both. Heal a little bit and otherwise. The nade's yeah, getting I, traded back and forth. The Nano's getting traded back and forth. I love it. Ooh. And I, I love this Zarya pick too because you know, you're getting so much damage for it. As long as you stay alive, you're going to have full energy this whole time. And right here, you're already seeing it. The amount of damage coming out from Papa Brownman 
Exactly. It's massive here. It's I mean, if the you're last two fights. A nano vanilla mm. hog to a nano full charge Zarya, I'm taking the Zarya all day. Absolutely. And, you know, important to note here is that Papa Brown Man, he really didn't do anything those first two fights. And not to, like, say anything bad against him, just about where Ryan is and, and just the couldn't. state of the game right now. So, immediately picking up so much more damage for your team entirely, just going Zarya here. Um, also, want to mention that uh, the Banana Man, Mr. Blue 17, has gone Farah, which, you know, we, uh, we don't like Farah players in this Twitch chat, okay? Ooh, tire stuck up on the top ledge, looking for the. Ooh! Got the pop of Brownie caught by surprise from the top rope. Yeah, the I mean, smooth with be the tire there. Push now, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it looks like they're gonna try and slow it down a little bit. Maybe mark your turtle. Oh man, gets caught out in the back. Yeah, sports are gonna have to get this up then yeah. for sure. Uh, can we get a death check? Has Lazy turtle died yet? Twitch shot, are you paying attention? Because I'm not. I, think... I don't, I don't think so. so. Yeah, pretty pretty good. We we like to see that. Popper Bamwin getting aggressive here on this corner, trying to not give it to him for free, but not putting on too much pressure. Scared of the damage, and I don't blame him. Sizer's looking for the hook here. That environmental Timmy, I guess, gets this transcendence forced. Could have been a uh, potential fat finger there. I think he had an itchy finger, perhaps, or just a scared of his roadhog. Either way, yeah, I mean, it's it. yeah, it's working out for him. Sizer does fall using that whole hog, but um. We are really traded one for one at this point. Pop Ramon does even it up, and Timmy is going to fall down. And the grab, I don't know about I it. I kind of want what? that grab back, but it sends a message, yeah, I mean, right? Yeah, sometimes it's about sending a message. And Pop Ramon may have just secured play the game. That is a message to be seen. That's the most important message, in fact. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go into... Three and a half minutes still remaining on the defense. I mean, are they just going to stack up bolts? I would I mean, expect have to, but you have to you have to really stagger them well here, right? You you have to get out of this fight using none or one, because okay, yeah, that's a good start. Yep, both supports dead. Don't use anything else. That was a really good barrage here by the Banana Man. I hate praising a far player, but um, very important. <laughs> you you as dirty really as it feels. slow down. Yeah, yeah. You really slow down the old generation. Um, for Triple B, right? Both DPS ults were going to be charged that fight, but you end it quick and early. They no longer have it charged. You're on the next fight. You know, that's another 25, 35 seconds off the clock, right? Absolutely. They're going to have the ult advantage coming. You have to win quickly. At this right, point, the fob might buy you some time. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Would buy 20, 30 seconds, if not a pick. Oh, and what a pick up too. here. Blue grabs that pick on Oh, and a massive anti-nade on well. Sizer. Sorry, sorry to over talk you there. That no. that anti nade on Sizer just it absolutely massive. They've been the story yeah. of most of these fights, I feel like. Yeah, Lazy Girl put in a lot of work. Yeah, and you know, MAGA, the only the only defense for MAGA is a well placed anti bot like anti nade. Okay? Especially um, now. Ooh. Back yeah. on Bob, ooh, but Bob's got tank passive now and he's shredding. Yeah, them. yep. Tank passive is busted, but you know what? I mean, it, it, it draws out so many, so many cooldowns. Papa Ramman just gets to walk in for free, you know? And and look at that, you know, gets the nano boost, kills three. A lot, a lot of really good team play working around each other here. Lots of swaps coming out here for the yeah. side of Triple B. Yeah, I think they, they are all gonna escape. But what do we got to up? Well, so we've got we've got the Scorpion here now instead of whatever the world he was playing. I can't remember to be honest with you. Is it still Dunkrat? I think it was. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness. I don't. Hey, look, if, if, throw those flaming hot Cheetos. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we've got a Nano Visor coming in. It's a good Nano Visor, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. You do kill both supports. Oh, you kill four Fire Chicken. Really proved me wrong here. I, <laughs> it's enough to win the fight, but it's not enough to win the point. Right now, it's enough to get into a stagger yeah. fight. You've got your Torb and your Ana coming back. If they don't get a solid, a solid attack on this, like an immediate pick, they need to back up yeah. right here. There you go. Fire oh, Chicken yeah. dies. Now because it's going to be a little bit really of a stagger have to fight. Just, yeah, and you just have to back off. And you're, if you're in that situation, you have to back off and wait for your response. You know, you have time. Losing this fight is tragic. But what I will say is, Hawk here, unfortunately, using the Kitsune Rush, not needed. Um, that could oh, come back to bite gets caught? our uh, our turtle lovers. Oh, Ziggy gets caught, but kills Ziggy the gets a kill. Well, and 
Siggy gets caught, gets away with it, and picks up a kill along with it. What? Yeah, doesn't die, gets a kill instead. Absolutely crazy. Crazy value yeah. there from Ziggy. Respect, Ziggy. We, you know, we have two DPS ult and nano boost coming for tilt. Um, not really much. We're going to have Magal, we're going to have Window. This could be a good pairing. You know, trap him out in the middle, right? With the yeah, shoot with the the shoot barrel. Oh, but now it doesn't look like we're going to get that happen. Sizer got slept. Hawk does fall, though. That ult's coming in right now, but Papa Ramlin is nano. Lazy Turtle gets pulled into it with a nade on Sizer's going to make him fall down. Fell. And Mercury Turtle's Bob popping off, killing all the Destructibles. One other person along the way as well. Don't know who that was. This should just be cleanup at this point. You know, you've got your whole team. It's overtime. Time is deciding to try and save stats, but also not. <laughs> that was a good one. I liked it. And what a hold from mm. Tilt. Uh, this this point is hard to push, but a really good job out of them stabilizing It took there. a moment of patience, right? I think it's that willingness to say, we won the fight, we've still got three alive, we're just going to control Mega Room and make sure there's like no shenanigans on the retake. But it's going to have to be a retake there, or else you find this staggered momentum, and now you're staring down the barrel of, like, we didn't finish with zero seconds in overtime. We just didn't finish. So yeah. there's definitely yeah. a game to be won. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're triple B, you're going into that that last point. You're thinking you're going to cap with at least two minutes left, right? Now you don't even have a full cap, so that is that is a really really good job out of tilt. And I've got to I got to be honest, I'm going to call back to Papa Brown Man getting that grab um, that yeah. we you know were like thought it was kind of overcommit. Honestly, that was the beginning of the end for triple B. So um, a really good job out of tilt. Um, we were we were to about commit the message. But I That's did right. feel like if there was a legitimate message to be had, it was this fight's over right now. No, yeah. no panicked. Where did this person go? No, oh, stagger them. Don't stagger them. Whatever. Like, just nope. They're dead. We're reset. We won. Yep. And they did yep. it from there. Absolutely. Right. It was decisive. Yeah. And they got it figured out. Uh, and that uh, applause to them about that. And really good job from Papa Brahma. And honestly, um, Fox Camus, I see your question. Who is mystery? That is a great question. It is Bobbert. Um, also the banana man that is blue 17. We're good. We're good. Guys. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Uh, banana man going for a pick here on the widow. Does not find one. Decides to stay though. And see if we can make anything of this. We are, uh, you know, getting a lot of positional advantage though from that widow existing. Papa Brown might able to walk in for free. Can't say the same for the rest of his team. Hawk has to use the yeah, the bell early to uh, save, you know, everybody who's getting that pressure, but. Now we've got everybody in, and Fire Chicken's gonna fall. Lots of damage coming out of Hotel, and you're pinned in with that um, Widow damage. Hawk, one HP, barely gets away from uh, Bobber here. Catches the anti nade, has to run away. Sizer and Papa Framan doing a little bit of trade here. Mercury Turtle being a little aggressive. Gets the uh, bell, though, and unfortunately, you can't cleanse if cleanse is gone. That anti nade coming through, Papa Framan falling. Banana Man trying to run away. Mercury Turtle playing a little aggressive. Probably gets punished. Manages to get away. And the Banana Man as well. Either way, really good patience from Banana Man here. I mean, they backed up around point. They take the Widow headshot once or twice, but it's just not enough from Blue. Like, it's just not enough to crack that back line. You stay safe, they rotate out. They play around a Junkrat as they're just continuing again, right? You get the bell out onto Mercury. It saves the life, but there's a kill from Banana Man. Isn't enough. It's the, uh, the Moira of Timmy. But. Points just now being pressured, and just getting led through a kill box. Ziggy gets domed though. Yeah, and now you know, Bobbert goes out, tries to make something happen, knows that the widow is the problem right here. Does kill him. But I mean it's too little too late at this point, you know. Um Pop Ramman gets the nano, is chasing down these kills. Probably isn't gonna be able to get any. Nano is worn off. Don't know how high that energy is. 42. Switch that. I just checked. Um You know, Ziggy's landed a lot of big nades. Though. It's like Absolutely. as a general statement here. Um, Given enough time, and that's what I'm saying, right? That's kind of the game plan right now. They've got the junk, they've got the honor. They're just waiting to lure someone into a trap. So as long as they can be patient, but that pressure keeps coming from the banana man. Yeah, the patience game works really well when you have the map control, right? Um, and unfortunately, with the Widowmaker, they're giving up so much of the, the map control because they're just respecting him, right? And like, it's good to respect your respect your Widowmakers, but if you give too much, I mean, it's 
is it really worth it? Uh, Big Tire does come over, kills Hawk, who had just used their Kitsune. A um, little bit of tank trade going on here. Pop Ramen has a grab. I'd be interested to see if he's going to pull it. Um, Breaking Turtle up on the high ground gets Mystery. Uh, Bobbert, that is. Ziggy caught aggressively, but the nade comes through. Is gonna lead to the death of both Mercury Turtle and Banana Man. Sorry, not Banana Man, Papa Brown Man. Banana Man does find Timmy again, but um, at this point, it's just exit frags, right? Ziggy falls, that is a massive. Um, it's just Pfizer left who does take him down. Oh, Fire Chick was back on the May. My exit fault. frags indeed. So Ziggy saves Stizer's life in there. Papa Brown Man makes a reserve decision to not grab when he's trying to fight the Ana. Ziggy nade, or, uh, gives the nano, Sizer turns around, not in time to save Ziggy's life, and now we're in a weird spot in the middle here. Up of Round Man grabs the nano, and he's on the offensive. There's not a whole lot of coordination right now on the defender side, but we're getting there. The grab will coordinate him in on together. Nothing to combo with it. No kills. No one dies from the grab except the thrower. Pop a Brown Man out of here. Oh, what a, what a <laughs> throw, honestly. No, and an amazing wall by Fire Chicken, and uh, I, I think it may have just been unfortunate timing. I don't think it was a response to the play, but maybe Fire Chicken knew that that grab was coming and, and wanted to put it up, split the team off. Maybe he was thinking about it. I don't want to discredit it, you know, but a really good wall. Splits all the support, and then even at that point, you don't have much to combo with it. Your far is dead, so you don't have a lot of flash damage in that regard. You have a Widowmaker, and you have your, you know, your sniper supports as well, so really not much you can do with that. Good trade coming through now, though. Um, got a lot of damage coming around, and Tan Man falls to those icicles. Really good accuracy out of Fire Chicken with those right now. I was gonna say he's gonna need it, right? It's just Fire Chicken and Ziggy to mostly deal with Mercury Turtle on the Farah. Yeah, and might I say, uh, Fire Chicken doing a very good job of you know hitting these icicles. Um, the first fight the Mercury Turtle was, you know, um, coming in on the flank, Fire Chicken took care of him. Um, Tire coming in, over the top ropes, going to the Farah, and Ooh. Farah dies. Timid does fall again to the Banana Man, though, so we are even. Um, I'd say the support is probably a little bit more value. Ziggy uses the nade aggressively, but no picks come from it. Um, Hawk in real danger right up here. Wall comes through, cuts off the escape, and that's a big old grab. They have the Junkrat, they have the nade, and uh, that's a teabag. That's a big old teabag out of Bobbert. I mean, Bobbert had to give, I think, three because there were th at least three bodies there. It just had to be done. It was worth it, <laughs> right? They went, they went in aggressive on that. You mentioned Ziggy trying to throw the, the aggro nade in the back line, only for them to kind of back up. Everybody stays quick white, and we reset here under the arches. It's a hard place to break if you're the attacker at this moment. Tilt have just under a minute now. See if they can yeah. break it with. They've got nano to work with, maybe a nano barrage if they want to get cheeky. But otherwise, it's going to be pretty much a dry fight. I gotta be honest with you. I I would love to see them take this high ground rotation where Hawk and Mercury Turtle are, but the whole team, right? It, it's probably going to take your entire fight. But I mean, they're they're engaging here on the flank with a barrage. It's a good barrage. You get a pick. But the front the front line is fighting. You know, three v four up ahead. Yeah. I mean, well, if you I don't know. That trade Banana Man trade on Ziggy Fire Chicken gets cleaned up by the far of Mercury Turtle. Yeah. It's getting scrapped. I think, yeah, I think they win this, but if Hawk dies, they have a chance. You know, and Timid does fall. Just Sizer left trying to run away. And, uh, I think... I gotta be honest, I feel like we're gonna get a touch out of Triple B here. And I'd expect it. Right? Yeah, I mean, they definitely got the, don't get it for free. Soldier. They would have to choose to give it up. Yeah, absolutely. The, the, soldier, the soldier swap here leads me to believe that they want to make it. And it looks like they're only keeping one on cart. They're positioning forward, that is tilt. So um, it looks like they expect this. They want to keep the space away, but they're giving plenty of time on the other side, right? For they, Triple B to grab. really coordinate. That's the one saving grace here. Pop around is the best. Tire player. early. Oh, tire falls low. Gets Papa Ooh. Brown, man. Oh no. Grab off the line. That is the now last thing you want to see happen. And now it's just clean up, right? Yeah, it's, it's gotta be. be. It must be a hero plays. But no, no hero plays. A little too much chaos in BBV. Clean it up. Yeah, what a what a tire right there. You know, cleaning everything right at the end. Um, doing a really good job of finding that one wing condition, right? Um, pop up round man. Play the game. Was a menace on this Zarya. Had to be taken out. Had to be. And what is this? The uh, the grav? 
Is this the one? It is. Four minutes on the clock. 100%. There it is. Absolutely massive. The spray, I saw it. I saw it in game. There it was. Absolutely beautiful. Congratulations, Bob Brown, man. You earned that one. Unfortunately, team didn't walk away with the dub on that map, but uh, it was a hard-fought loss. I'll tell you that much. Um, uh, Fox screen this. Uh, it is, in fact, Fire Chicken and Phantom Tones casting this map. Um, fun fact. Um, uh, I, Fire Chicken, am able to play game, communicate with team, and cast all at the same time. My voice also changed. so. And I can sing opera. That's right. That's a little known Phantom Tones joke. That's probably more widely known now, I hope. Fantastic. I hope. Right Come on. Uh, remember to redeem your channel points out there for your belly rubs for Bronson when you have uh, a spare channel point or two, folks. Uh, but we're going to be headed to map two in a moment here. I mean, if you're Tilt, I don't think you're upset with that game at all. If you're BBB, maybe you're feeling like you need to clean up a little bit of moments to start getting more momentum. It's in your favor now. Next map pick is going to be a bit curious. It is it is strange to me that we don't have the specific map rotations right now in season, yeah. so you just have to pick from like what's remaining. So there's a bit yeah. more strategy in that. I'm curious what the choice will be from Tilt here. Yeah, I would expect I would expect to, like a little bit more comfort, right? So typically, what I expect to happen with this current rotation is there's going to be a lot of um, a lot of changes with them um, with how people go, right? So you lose that first map. Like, do you want do you want to go and do something you're comfortable with, or do you save that for sudden death? You know, your map yeah. you pick. Like, do you, because if you if you don't have it later. You're, it's kind of tough later, but if you put yourself in a position where you have to win out to win, like if you have to reverse sweep, that's also, I mean, that's also a tough place to be. It. It's it's interesting. And look at that, Jumper Town escort. This is what I was thinking. I never said it out loud. I expected escort. Um, I was going to say if we're if we're looking at the facts from Kings Row, BBB is going to play a little bit tighter of a brawl comp and a lot more spam damage, at least in the Junkrat form, versus Tilt. You saw Banana Man popping off quite a bit with the Widow, with the, uh, Cassidy, Mercury Turtle being a little bit flankier on the Farah, having that movement ability. You're going to want to use that, utilize it with these high grounds, with these flank angles that Junker Town offers. I think that works pretty well in their favor. I'm interested to see how Escort goes here. I think it's a good call. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, really heavy sniper map too, right? Banana Man was doing really big work on the, uh, on the Widowmaker. Damn. Lots to... Uh... Lots to see in terms of what's the word that I'm looking for. Um, I mean, goodness. <laughs> I would dare I would dare say patience again, right? Yeah. We yeah. we saw it on first point, at least the attack there for tilt that it was more a game of can we outweigh BBB, or is this more the opportunity where they're gonna try to push, you know, maybe something divey? I would I'd be a bit surprised. I'm expecting more of a sniper lineup, but. We'll find out here in a moment. No, uh, we do have mods around if anybody wants to try a prediction. We're at the beginning of map number two here. Will it be? Yeah, uh, Fox Screenless, if you're still looking, uh, listening, do a do a little prediction here. Let's see if we can uh, we can get a you know a, a who wins. Spend some of your Bezos bucks, and you know if you don't want to spend any any real bucks, see if there's Twitch Primes available. It's always a thing to support the stream out here. As we are starting up our season, you know, it's nice to see that we've got the momentum flowing. Everybody's here hanging out. Wonderful to see so many names in chat. Luscious Tons, Nate Dog, Fox McCumulus, DJ Soda, Fleba Wop. I'm calling you all out. I see you. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it, folks. We're 30 seconds to game time. We are going to see the hog on Sizer to begin. Yeah, I know. Oh, uh, uh, Banana Man with the Widow. DJ Soda got a little, little observation, it seems, from the chat. Um, team names need to be swapped on the... Uh... Overlay. Oh, yes. We did swap them because uh, don't want to have two attackers. Don't want to attack or attacker. You know what I'm saying? Defender, defender. Haha. -ha. Let's try to make it even. Five, okay, so four, definitely sniper heavy three, from the side of the two, turtles, right? Mercury's one. on the ash. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is what they ran out on dead. too. Like yeah. they they played this exact thing except except they had an Ana and a Ryan, right? This exact same thing um, on Kings. And the fish is in the lineup, by the way, so. They had a, I think they had the Ana Zen. But a fish is in now, if that wasn't uh, noticed for uh, 
the lovely player who I can't remember the name of. No, nope. sorry. Back from, back from the tornado warning. But yeah, it was Hawk back from the dead. The, the first pick of the game. Yeah, uh, you know, it's just a little torb spam. A little bit of torb spam and a big old Zenyatta head hitbox. But you know, they get that pick, but they still have to keep giving up all this faith, right? So like, they're still down. They're down one, but they're giving up all this car progress. And honestly, it is to play a little bit better for them, right? The Roadhog likes to play in this, this mega room here. That's good for them. They also don't have to, you know, deal with the sight lines of the Widowmaker as much. So, um, make the job difficult for the attackers. And um, I will say, though, Sizer gave up this position really early and uh, really allowed Mercury Turtle to take that wide flank and take down the Torbjorn pretty much for free. Um, Nano Boost coming out early from Ziggy, um, might I say, good healing. Uh, good job, you healed your Roadhog. Um, Sizer is taking so much pressure right now, though. Lots of sniper pressure on the back line. Sizer's just having to stand behind this water tower. Fire Chicken falls to that, uh, that bit of double sniper. Bob coming in from Mercury Turtle already. Grab in as well. I mean, everybody's built a You know, it, it feels like this game is early, but, uh, wow, we really... It was fast. It was clean. Yeah, I mean, it, it felt fast, but I'm telling you, there there was only two to have. Like, we've been, it, like, a minute and a half. That's a long time in this game. Was BBB. One steady fight? Yeah, BBB really, um, I'd say being a victim to giving up too much space, right? It's an, another world yes. where I was saying on, on King's Road, you're respecting the snipers too much. Like, you have to respect them. Don't be dumb, right? But also, don't just be so scared of losing your life that you give up the oh, entire game. You have to fight have sometimes. Yeah, at least fight on the card. Pause it for a yeah. minute, make sure you get two fights, a point, or something like that. Yeah, right now, and, I was going to say, it feels yeah. like Papa Brown Man is being allowed to be very aggressive because he's just wandering around with snipers to cover him. Absolutely, and, and, and got your Sizer really had to put out um, that uh, that defense matrix on Banana Man. At least felt like he had to, right? Um, Walked up on the high ground, used the entire DM to just like stop an man from shooting. They are really worried, really, really worried about this Widowmaker. And I wouldn't say that the Widowmaker is particularly the problem, especially in this point. They're making the Widowmaker be a problem by respecting him so much. Um, Papa Brown Man, and yeah, let me <laughs> let me say, uh, Mercury Turtle, Papa Brown Man, Lazy Turtle doing a fantastic job there. Um, Fish as well, um, I know was putting in a lot of work um, with those orbs early on in that fight, but it, really closing it out. Lazy Turtle, absolutely. Mercury Turtle, Papa Brown Man in that room, absolutely fantastic job out of them. You see, Bobber pops in Molten Core, gets a couple of kills as everyone is kind of like in the chaos moment along the way. I thought that fight was pretty well clean up for him, but they fight for Mega Room, they can fight together, and now we're on third point here. This is looking to be a very strong comeback from the Turtles. Yeah, and you know what? We could see, oh, we see a Reinhardt. We want to stack on top of each other generally, but Bobber going around on the flank all alone. No help here for Bobber. See if it pays off. Oh, the Nano Reinhardt coming in. That is a lot. Bobber does fall, but um, Sizer and Fire Chicken putting down the work here. Just, uh, just Banana Man and Mercury alive here. Timmy harassing Mercury. Mercury gives up. I start hit that fire strike. Banana Man does get out with a grapple hook. I say that. Oh, now he's just staggered. Almost gets out. <laughs> Maybe a swap. Was out. Decided to peek. I I think that you're getting too much value on the widow, but yeah, there it is. Oh, so it's Gingy. Time. Gingy. Gingy. Somebody call. Somebody call Kevin. <laughs> Zero. Can we get some notes? Bob's gonna come in all the way to the back line. It's probably gonna kill Bobber? Not quite. Bobber gets away just Ooh, the what? shatter what? already by Sizer. Massive shatter. Oh, I was no. also focused on this uh, on Bobber dying here to the, Bobber, to the Bob in the back Bobber line. Bobber got but... away and then said, hmm, I wonder if he's still up. Oh, yeah. Yep. Goodness. It's Sizer, what a play, my, my man. That was. That was a hell of a shatter. Um, I think that was a four-man shatter. Uh, you don't see that much anymore. <laughs> kind of refreshing to see a Reinhardt on my screen. I'm not gonna lie to you. Nine buffs. Nine buffs. Ryan is back in season. Oh, Ziggy falls. Ziggy aggressive up there. Um, the sides are getting in. Oh my God. The pin. Turn the tide right on back. Oh, no. Other brown man's chance to push forward if they can get some momentum. Mercury yeah, Turtle finds the pin. On yeah, took up that high ground. Just got to walk in. 
Oh, and now they have to give all the space. Back here. Oh. Oh, this they, is a bad place to be. They grab all the, all the mid range and now just get to fire for free on the back line. Mercury Turtle really put the pressure on the team there with him. You can see Banana Man trying to get up in it. Can't collect any picks, but you know, just drawing space, like you said, they all, all the way retreated to the final hole. Yeah, and you know, Banana Man not getting not getting any picks out of it, but getting a lot of cooldowns out of it. A lot of ults coming in here, both DPS ults. And yeah, you know, we're getting Lazy Turtle, that's massive. Pop Ramon falls, can't back out because of that. And uh, these Next picks should strikes. come. They're all 1 HP. The was be oh, Mercury yeah, Turtle, you were fine. going to get found. You were going to get found. You have to know you're going to get found. I mean, if, the, if their team feeds, they could get the back cap here. Let's get a cam on Mercury Turtle here. It's happening. It is. It is. They don't know. Okay, oh, they, they, know, know, they, they know. They know. They know. They know. They know. <laughs> well, Mercury, ride for all it's worth. It, it, it was. It was. It was a valiant Almost. Entry. Yeah. Almost perfect timing. I'm telling you, if. Um, Oh, a shatter coming through. Did it get blocked? Holy blocked. Wow. Blocked. I think Ra wow. uh, Papa Brown Man bubbled it, I believe. I saw the shatter come down, couldn't see Papa Brown Man, but no one fell over. Yeah, that was a... Uh oh, that was an exchange. Hard to do these days. The, the shatter change makes it a little bit difficult to block with bubbles since you can just break it. So, well yeah. done by Papa Brown Man, assuming that was the case. Yeah, I think a little bit of it got caught up on the pillar, but um, but yeah, I mean, everything on that, that side. All right. We're using Genji Blade. We got killed with Genji Blade. And the Alting Brig. Somebody call Virologic. We got we got kills with Genji Blade. Oh my god. Genji Enjoyer in this game. And their name is the Banana Man. Funnily enough, I think that the Banana Man told uh, Kevin to play Genji. And here we are. I could be wrong. Why, that could be slander. Blue, Blue why, would you, why would you put this curse on us? I need you to atone for this sin, Blue. Anyhow, I doubt we're gonna enjoy more Genji on on first point. Like, I mean, I've seen crazier things, but I would expect to see the Widow. I would expect to see the Widow. I mean, right now, if you're BBB, you feel good. You got it down to a 45 second time bank, as opposed to I think we walked into third point with over four minutes. So. Solid, solid way to eat off a little bit of the clock, and now you're just looking to do it faster. As long as you can make it to the minute mark, you can reset we this whole thing. Sojourn. I Which like it. I don't I've been know if I'm a fan lately. of this. I, at least on this, like, I feel like you gotta roll, roll Widow. I mean, like, if you're gonna pick the Sojourn, I don't know why you don't do that last point, right? But, I mean, could put me wrong, Sojourn's still good, so, you know, it's just the, the Widow was, uh, a problem. Maybe just a little more opportunity to flank. Perhaps. Maybe. I mean, you get a little bit more escape, I guess. I, the slide's really strong. I don't know. I I am surprised here. Um, if I'm, I, I gotta be honest. If I am triple B and I come out and I see that there isn't a Widowmaker, I'm like, I'm rolling free, right? Sizer went monkey. I feel like almost exclusively for the Widowmaker that isn't here. And look at their entire team. They're all hiding. Like. Now that I know the widow isn't here, look at their look at how immediately no, their posturing changes. The yeah, oh, like yeah. they Fish realized it, and now they're just walking. Here. Just no fear at all from Sizer heading towards the back line. Like, getting super low, but not worried about it. Just gonna yeah. hop back to team. There's no pressure. I mean, they do that exchange and look at how much car progress they gain, right? They charge ults. They yeah, gave it nothing. Go on, dark. And they have all this space, right? This is the same kind of thing that was going on. Um, on their defense. Pfizer takes down Mercury Girl. Yeah, I I don't know about this. I don't know about this uh, no widow. Gorks are kind of trying to set up a kill box using Pop Ground Man as like the anchor on cart. Fire yeah, yeah I mean, the post, though, and it's probably going to just get collapsed on now the cart's moved up into the open here. Yeah, I mean, they're doing a good job. Like, they have no right Ooh. being as strong as they are here. Lady Turtle put in the work. Fire yes. Chicken taking down uh, Banana Man, right? Yeah, Lady Very Turtle does. Kills. Oof. I mean, the people that matter have stayed alive. They've still got their Zen, they've still got their Ana, just pumping heels into Papa Brown Man so they can stay high charge. And all the while, you've got Lazy Turtle just throwing orbs left and right, putting Discord on people. They're their own little unit, kind of letting the DPS run around and do their thing. Mercury Turtle oh, picked the fight man. on the stairs, all the way on the rotation. Full teams there for uh, Bobber and Company. 
just yeah, oh, Mercury gosh, Turtle being really aggressive. Dick, I guess. Yeah, they're. I mean, they're trying to find these off angles, right? These these cross like cross sections and set up these kill boxes. They're looking for them, and you know they're doing a really good job of it. But it's it's kind of hard in, in this point, especially if you're you know not letting them play into you. Um, Pop Ram Man right is nano, but very dangerous. It's time. Stuck in the bubble. Right. That trying to convert the kill the shields yeah. now. I think so. Alright, Pulse Bomb comes out, gets Bubble. Timma takes down Mercury Turtle, Fire Chicken falls to Banana Man. We are one to one, Timma using this uh, the ultimate ability that is called Coalescence. Uh, Transcendence being exchanged back for Lady Turtle here. And we're 44 still. Nano Boost coming on Sizer, but uh, he is Discorded, so he can die. Um, and Lazy Turtle's trying his best. Ha Sizer has to Primal and run away. Lazy Turtle finally falls, and uh, Sizer's shaking out. Uh, pop round man fish on the back oh, line here pop, trying to pop, take down so Piggy. To contest, is he? Uh, I don't think so. Very unfortunate, but uh, I mean, Bob got a kill and got some, some of the second gear. Of, like, it's just Mercury's Turtle and Ziggy here. Ziggy hits the sleep. It's enough time though. There's reinforcements coming. And the win! Lazy Turtle with the backup from Mercury and both survive for the hold here under a minute. <laughs> For uh, Bobbert's banana boys. Yeah, what a what a hole. Uh, goodness, I am the sad. Oh, hold on, hold on. Heroic. Thank you for the prime sub. Yo. Very much appreciated. Doomfist. Thoughts? Um. Interesting. I Ooh, wasn't sure the monkey wasn't working. I thought the Winston was going quite well actually. Go turn. Thoughts? Mm, no thoughts. Three and a half minutes. Seems to be doing the thing so far. I mean, yeah, I mean it's, it's, it's working out. Die, but somehow. Yeah, I, I think it's working out. I, I still, I still stand by my opinion though. I think that Widow could be better here. Um, now I will say, this ultimate combo right here makes it better. Right, Nano um, Sojournal is very good. Um, oh yeah, Lazy Turtle. Oh god, I hope that's my pot G. I want to see that. That was juicy. Um, good hold. Very, very good hold. Tilt. Uh, uh, I'm, Is I'm, that 2-0? No, that's the that's the comeback. That's even it up 1-1 now. Oh yeah, that's 1-1. That's right. Our uh, our scoreboard is a. Uh... So, I mean, there we go. Yeah, there it is. So far, it seems like we found the secret sauce for both teams, right? You know, Bobbert's Banana Boys just want to play a brawl comp. They want to play fight. They want to play fast, right? There's a lot of comfortable duelists on that team, I think. Like, there's a lot of independence happening in the way they're playing, which is strong, I think, when you have those micro decisions. When everybody's just in a big ball and everybody just gets to pick, all right, who am I fighting? Who's the, the, the most scary to me in this moment? But as far as, like, the ranged, co more coordinated play... Tilt is just being a little bit slower. At least we saw it on Junkertown. They're a little bit more calm. They're a little bit more willing to play space and take space. I mean, it's going to be an interesting fight. Kind of map dependent so far, I feel like. Yeah. Pop around me and I mean, if you're mostly with the Zarya, so that's kind of the one thing that they're anchored to, it seems like, on Tilt. But I'm not even sure that he won't just swap to something alternate. Yeah, very well could just swap off, swap off something else. Um, a pop up round man I know is uh, pretty good around around these parts. Um, you know, we could even see a, a fish ball at some point tonight, which would be pretty exciting. Um, fish ball, a fish bowl, a fish ball, a fish bowl. A fish bowl? Uh, I I would love a fish bowl right now. No, if if fish plays ball, uh, you the viewer are entitled to one free fish bowl from your local watering hole. Uh, tell them that twitch.tv slash PMAOWL sent you, um, and let us know what don't happens Don't tell them that. to take our, yeah, don't tell them to, like, put it on our tap, though. We, uh, we ain't got money like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that's not, no, they owe you. We, we don't know, we don't know them. They owe you. Just guilt them into it. It'll be fine. Promise. Where am I going? What am I swapping? Did I do it? Uh, Ziggy Tank, Fire Chicken Support. Size or DPS. Okay, I did it. I'm so proud well of me. Give us Hawk that people want Hawk. That is fair and reasonable. However, um, the Hawk uh, 
um, is on oh. the bench, and I'm not the captain, so I can't decide. That's going to be a lot more channel points. Yeah. If you if you if you switch prime right now, if three of you twitch prime right now, AJ will say the thing. I'll I'll give a I'll give a hawk to it, and I'll I'll get hawk in here. I'll do it. <laughs> oh my. You know, it's been a while since I've I've come You're to cast one of these games. You have Amazon Prime. So much chaos. Everybody has Prime nowadays. I feel like somebody you know's got Prime. Your grandma got Prime. Your, <laughs> yeah. your uncle got. Prime. Your grandma's got your Prime, right? Got Prime. So I guarantee got. you. I I did shout you out, Heroic. Okay, look. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here we'll make it work work even better. Okay, Heroic. Your your Prime sub counts for one. So if we get two more, I'll do it. All right, that's oh, that's a watch. that's a subscription. That's pretty good. The eleven month six in a row, no doubt. Like, that's commitment right there. Thank you, Mega Watt. I know you only have one. I'm sorry. I mean, you can only account for one person. That's you can gift one. That's thing... that's technically the truth. I I suppose I would accept that. And one way or another, we'll also accept that we're going to Li Zhang Tower. Well. Which of the three? Yeah, Lijon, it's decide. the uh, it's the um, King's Robe called, of Control, right? It's, Except it's I like it because I'm a Robert. Lucia player. I mean, I've I've said it a few times so far. I think the brawl is their strength, so why not send it to a control point that is enclosed? That the flank routes are pretty dangerous, pretty long. Good call. I think we're going to see probably some tracer play. Let me go ahead and uh, ask for ours. Uh, I'm King's Row greater than AJ's opinion. That is uh, wild. Hawker ban, I also agree, but I can only do so much. Box one, more sub. one more sub and we're there. <laughs> give you money so you can give a prime sub. Honestly, <laughs> big brain. No, go go like, like pester your uncle or something. Your uncle probably has, has like Amazon Prime and doesn't use twitch probably has never heard of twitch go get your uncle's prime and use that easy so i can i can provide you a, a very easy oh shit Revol dead zone who's not dead then for for anyone uh <laughs> for anyone alive and possibly willing um if you go to them and say hey uh person uh member of my family whom i i love dearly and respect highly uh do you enjoy music yeah uh, music makes you happy great um, all music will will perish from this earth if I don't support this specific niche music fraternity semi-related uh, video game league with a $60 subscription to Amazon so that I can gift a free $5 sub for free. That's right. Yeah, go to your other uncle and say that. Has to happen or all music is gone forever. Easy. All music gone. Match. You like you like that nice like heroic music over your Marvel movies? Gone. Gone. You like that sad like <laughs> but really touching like feeling that you get from the music in that rom com? Gone. Oh. You like hearing pretty sounds on that organ thing on like at baseball games? Gone. You're in the final moments of a huge Ziggy. Of the game as Thank the you for the sub. Up. Gone. That is three, Ziggy, but unfortunately we're already in the game, so I can't change the lineups now. <laughs> you can, however, give him a hawk to uh, after the game. Hawk! <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Well, I wonder if we've got memes coming out of the side of the turtles at the moment. Yeah, we did for a minute. I thought we were going to possibly see some Lucio Zen full chaos happen, but Lazy Turtles have the day on the on. Hey, look Fire at this. Fire taking over the Moira. Yeah, and Ziggy on the, the Zarya here, they're going to do some TP TP, you know? They are. They're a little slower, though. Yeah, but that TP is going to make up the difference. So they get on at pretty much at the same time, but they do have the positional advantage. Popper Brownman gets absolutely dang, Obliterated. Uh, absolutely evaporated, even. That, um, that's going to be the story, right? I mean, yeah. walking into Zarya junk sim. Brownman's got a swap. There's no, yeah, there it yep, is. Okay, I, I don't like the run. I gotta be honest. I mean, if you can get on top of them, the run runs out. 
Maybe, maybe we'll see the laser turtle on Ana behind him and Echo. Man, okay, I'm gonna go Ryan. Right. I can just block the damage. Yeah, but I mean, you're just gonna get the free beam charge for the for the symmetry, you know? I mean, it's you gotta you gotta go right. If you're if you're gonna play this Ryan Cup, you gotta save the speed amp. You gotta go, and you can't hold that shield. You just have to go. Like you hold the shield while your team gets through, and then you just fight, right? They're, like you can't keep that shield up. The longer you keep it up, the like more they're just gonna fry you. So far, so good. Yeah, they're making the moves. That's good. Mercury Turtle does burn the transformation early. Is oh, gone already. Pop a Bramman low hair of health. Yeah. Oh, he been charged. Is gonna fry him now. <laughs> yeah, just Tire gets shut down dead. from Bobbert as well, though. So things are just yeah. gonna. You know, good news if you are tilt is that that tire got wasted. You know, um, we, we take positives. We take positives. All right, I'm gonna take a bite of my pizza. So. Uh, be right That's back in like 30 seconds. That is also a positive. I have pizza and I'm eating it. We take those positives here. I mean, right now, no ults online. Mercury Turtle's gonna opt to make the swap to Farah instead of the Bastion, which I think is fair in the face of all the spam damage coming out of Bobber and Sizer right now on every choke point. So, to make the team look somewhere different. We also got the Echo of Banana Man, but just not a lot of healing to complement it. Lazy Turtle's got the window against Sizer's wall. To see how the two can keep. They're gonna try to rotate around fast through the outside coast here. The wall comes down to kind of block off the window. Window traps them, or uh, grab traps them right in front of it though, and it'll get a kill on its own. Just enough here in the alt fiesta for the side of Bob and the Banana Boys to hold things down, but it was costly. We see re alts come out for the final fight. Should be enough unless there's a trick we can get on point. It's going to be a bit difficult. Mercury trying to go the long way around the coast. Can they get to it in time? Two percentage to get there. Just not enough. No. Makes it. It's going to cost a couple of kills though. Ziggy on the front line just running it down with Zarya. And the trickle not quite strong enough. Echo pops the second life. And can't hold out for very long. That'll be enough. Hey, Bobber's look, Banana Boys the brawl the point, point was really good for the brawl team. It was. It was. I mean, it was just it was just a moment of we run in the first fight, we explode. Oh, crap, what do we do now? Well, let's yeah. try this. Hit a wall. Oh, crap, what do we do now? Let's try this and hit a wall. That's how I feel like the 2CP experience... Not 2CP. Well, that is the 2CP experience. That is the 2CP uh, experience. But, <laughs> uh, that can be the control point experience sometimes, right? They're fast maps with tight chokes. So if you can't Five, crack it, four, you just got to be willing to stay two, calm and keep one, shifting to a different strategy until you can get there. Capture the Nothing you just got to figure it out. Revolutionary. Stay calm, figure it out. <laughs> But hey, I will say though, try this point, stuff. pop around man on the monkey, yeah. fish on, and they've got laser they've got the double flatters. They're committing from the rim, right? And this map is going to benefit them for that. Kill the show for it. Yeah, I like all, this already, map. right? And a lot of pressure going on to their squishies. Popper man, man jumping in, trying to confirm that does fall really low and does fall for it. Mercury turtle getting really low as well. Ziggy is low though, very killable. Bubbles himself, survives. And Tim is back. They have this point position and um, this positional advantage, you know, and you don't want to have that happen if you are tilt. You want to get that first cap here. And um, Mercury Turtle falling to Ziggy, that is very unfortunate. And falling in a place where they can't be rest either. <laughs> they, Wait, their body fell they right traded? in that pit. Yeah. I didn't realize they traded at first, but now you're going to see Tilt yeah. on the offensive here. I mean, I also they missed the tank, that. so things should yeah, be what a, Yeah, with your, you know, with Papa Ramen alive here, you should be able to walk in here pretty much free, and they pretty much did that. You know, they get the kills about it. You can't ask for anything better, you know, for tilt. Um, and you know, good, good job. Um, they've now got the control, and this is where they wanted to be out the rip, right? Absolutely. So they, got space, they have to be aware of the stem TP. But otherwise, yeah, I mean, they just get to set up that kill box. You know, this time it's with flyers and like projectile heroes, but it's the same. It's same same. Um, looks like they're trying to gather for the TP. TP comes through. Ziggy's already there, but not everybody's on the same page. Fire Chicken is a little late. Doesn't look like it's going to matter too much. Sizer takes down Papa Brown Man, but uh, the Banana Man copies. They still have a tank in the fight, and that tank takes down their tank. 
So now, oh no, Bobber off the map. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Timmy takes down fish. I didn't. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah, looks like I missed, a good I missed it. But... Yeah, I, just, I look up and I see Bobber in, in the in the void. I guess. Um, Fire Chicken is escaping with his life, so good on him. Um, some trades coming through here, but the problem with you know this brawl comp against this double flyer comp, the monkey, is that there's just so much survivability in terms of you know if you don't win almost immediately, you're gonna lose that long fight. Fire coming in, going for the fish. The fish falls. Fire Our World finds nice. Bobber, but it's a little late. Rez comes through, negating the ult. Love to see it. Popper Bam and falling. This is sad. And Bobber falls. A little barrage happening in the backline doesn't really do much of anything in terms of, you know, kills. Big grab by Ziggy, though, comboing with that Fire Chicken um, Coalescence. And that's a, that is a clean point take and win um, on the backside of this fight. Um, Popper Bam and exactly Mercury Turtles. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm walking into that fight, they've got ults to pop for the side, for Bobbert's team. And you see that the turtles were just coming up on their next round. They managed to pop their ults first, do a, a nice effective combo to get things started. A couple of ults come out the same and you win the fight. Now you own it. Things are looking a little better for Bobbert right now. Anime with another ult here. Third. Yeah, we'll see if uh, if Nanoman can get this grab here off this copy. That will be absolutely massive. Already at 85%. There is the grab. Here it is. It is fat. It's tail into the beat here for Timmy. They don't have the follow-up damage. Not in the best positions to follow up on it. They do manage to get some kills here. Timmy falling first. Ziggy, Sizer now. Uh, Murgatrickle does get taken down by the Junkrat here. And Pop Brownman punches him in the mouth for it. Very clean retake. Banana Man grabs that Zarya. And I mean, if you can... You get to put blue on tank for a second with Zarya? Yeah, yeah uh, be my guest, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, it looks like we got a Doomfist here from Ziggy. I feel like I have played Doomfist with Ziggy before. I don't remember how it ever went, but I, you know, I like it. Uh, big nade coming through, a little early. Timmy falls low, doesn't fall for it. Ziggy punches through, misses the group of everybody, um, but manages to make it back to point. Mercury Pearl really low, but so is Ziggy. Ziggy is so low here. Fish, fish standing still. Gets the right clicks from Sizer two feet in the back, and they are starting to win this fight. That is uh, Triple B. Um, kills coming through everybody here. Um, Ziggy, Bobber, Sizer, Papa Roundman here, just trying to stall it out as long as he can. Um, you know, use the primal, might as well stick around, and I guess in his mind, get his money's worth. Um, last fight here for this point, and this is the this is live or die for Silt, at least in terms of this map. Oh, and the Bobber has the tire. Animan's got the copy again. Alright, Papa Brownman gets the touch. Doesn't die for it. Tire's coming out. Who's it gonna get? Is it gonna get anybody? Oh, Mercury Turtle! Oh, wow, Mercury Turtle. Right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, no res available. Mercury Turtle killing three at this point. Banana Man and Fish cleaning up. That is the the win here. That, uh, that junk ride isn't gonna make it. Neither is Lucio, even with the best rollout, you're, you're not hitting that. And we're heading to a round of three. Love now this point I am interested in. It is a junk rat, junk rat playground and very brawl friendly. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. interested to see yeah, how is. Tilt approaches this. This is, a, this is nothing but good for Triple B. Um, I'd like to see the Zarya again from Ziggy. I, I want you to swap off this Doomfist. Please don't feel like you have to stay on it just because you're on it. I mean, so like you said, live your you life. Said you weren't but... sure how Ziggy how Ziggy did with Doom. And if there's one thing I know about Doom, it's that he thrives in chaos. And if there's That's one true, thing but... I know about Ziggy, it's that he also thrives in chaos. <laughs> so I think he's in his natural habitat. And he's just kind of feeling it. They're gonna keep vibing with the Doom. They get the TP out fast to point, so they're gonna have this first punch down the hallway. Nobody takes the bait. We'll see where it goes from here. Pop Armor still has the Winston, so just kind of holding out with that bubble. They're gonna be chill for a minute and try to set up some crossfire. The flyers are up and in. This is pretty good so far for the Turtles. Yeah, they're, they're getting the map control, which is really, really good. And uh, this is the one thing I don't like about the Doomfist, right? Is there isn't a lot of map control gained from Doomfist. There's a lot of pick potential there, right? It's kind of like the monkey, but it doesn't like it doesn't take up as much space. Yeah. So, you know, 
if you're getting picks, it works out. So like Ziggy's making it work. I don't don't get me wrong. I'm sitting on the character and Ziggy's making it work. So and that should say all you need to know about Ziggy. Um, it's pick potential. But uh, but yeah, I mean. Wow. Everybody else wow. Just kind of feeding into this chaos for him and trying to wrap it out where they need to. I mean, still, yeah, you see Bobber down and Ziggy's still just trying to punch through the front wall. The whole mid at spawn as far as they can. Taking yeah. the aggression. And all this, comes. all of this crowd control too has to be getting in the heads of uh, Tilt a little bit, you know? Oh, it's annoying. You're, you're getting slammed three different ways trying to scream for help and nobody can even get close to you. It's hard. Bobber Brandman falls really low there. Fire coming in from Bobber. And finds nobody. Um, does do some damage here to Papa Brown Man, who does eventually fall. Sizer taking down everybody in the back line, ending with Papa Brown Man there. Fire Chicken really taking out his one. And Sizer finally spin puts could a rush. Push higher away. Yeah, um, it is really strange, right? <laughs> I guess I don't know why you wouldn't just detonate the tire, which is still my question. Yeah, but yeah. I think you know, you know maybe enough. you're trying to wait out the the fortify, I guess. Um, oh no. Oh. He tries to shut something down, but not going to convert with that one. Banana Man will fall fast. Can they get the res not amongst the Doom ult? Just slamming around. The whole team's getting involved. And then we're at 80%. Mercury it's going to be final fight. Made it through, time. but like, didn't have anything done with it. Yeah, I mean, this is this is, this is now live or, live or die, right? you got to win out. If you're going to win this map, you've got to win out if you're tilt. They have someone else to work with, but... Man, Triple B's using them early. Uh, Moira for the touch and the second life from Banana Man will make it to point. When Lazy Turtle Brown gets Man. glacked by Ziggy, they just leave the Zenyatta behind. I mean, they had to, but... Oh, man. There's a 4v5 here. Timmy with the uh, big old wall over here. Fire Chicken and Beam and people die. down. Yeah, support's putting in so much work here. Both support ults out. Lazy Turtle coming in with the frog. Does get the touch, but really just uh, ceremonial at this point, you know, out another a death to death screen, but yeah, what a what a show of dominance by a Triple B on that last point. Um, Ziggy, uh, I apologize formally, and <laughs> great work. Well done on the Doom. Mercury Turtle's gonna steal the pot, G, though. Yeah, I mean, you know, I yeah, this one right here. Nice positioning. I, Good cover. I love it. Like, really nice aggressive angle, but good cover personally. I like that a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely so massive there. Respect. Excellent. Play the game. We are heading to map four. It has to be push or high, uh, flashpoint. Imagine that. Um, imagine the fact that we waited to the very end to play push and flashpoint. Um, <laughs> what do we think? Are we thinking, are we thinking push or are we thinking flashpoint here? I mean... Hill gets the pick. I think they probably pick push. It's it's. Be I mean, I agree with Fox in the chat there, right? P push is a good game mode. I just agree it's better than Flashpoint in my book, but also it's better for that grab map control, play a slow game, kill box style that they seem to have been favoring. I think it just plays better into their hands, probably. I'd like to go on record and say that push is a shit game mode um, for, yes. uh, for shitters. So I'd like to go on record that Blizzard doesn't know how to make uh, better content, so they keep making worse content, so that the previous worst is now not not. So not as bad? Better. Yeah, it's kind of like gaslighting. Yeah. <laughs> but, it, it's actually just called moving the goalposts, I think. I think that's the actual. <laughs> but if you throw in a little bit of gaslighting in there, it's really effective. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, it it gets the job done. It, uh, it gets the, the dopamine into the brain on the pixels but uh, i i just wanted to, to note that flat but flatbed fred hopped in that he just got here and this match is making him so stressed which i can relate to that that final point was uh not the most clear showing of how this match has been so far the scoreboard's doing well tonight tilt has only achieved their one victory but that was map two a solid comeback on junker town uh bobbert's banana company uh, or Banana Boys, I should say, uh, perhaps. Um, <laughs> they they have had pop-off moments. They've had some more unstable moments. 
Uh, I would say Tilt has been pretty steady throughout. It's been more so of how well they can how well they can respond to the pressure that comes when Bobbert's team is really firing all on one all on the same cylinder, right? Not just on all cylinders. They're kind of always doing that. Everybody's always looking around for a fight to pick. But when they're all doing the same thing, you know, when that coordination hits, they've been without too much response from Tilt. It's kind of a one or two people die and now it's a cleanup fight. We'll see how it goes on Runesapi. I think it's really going to be nice for Mercury if they choose to continue with the Farah. Um, same thing for Banana Man if they continue with the Echo. Uh, Hawk is back in, so Papa Brown Man out, Fish in. Shaka Khan, are we going to get a Fishbowl? Uh, I think we're going to get Fishbowl. We're also getting a Hawk too. Oh, indeed we are. Thank you again for all the subscribers so far tonight. Ziggy, yeah, I did this Twitch chat. It was all me and not Mercury Turtle telling me that it was time for a hawk play. Yeah. All me. Too. But Ziggy, Megawatt, Heroic, appreciate the support out here tonight. Everyone that's come out, chatted, hung out, tuned in. Thank you, thank you. We're headed to map number four. We'll see if it's the last. Will it be a 3-1 in favor of Bobbert's Banana Boys, or will it be... All the way to map five, if Tilt wants a chance to stay through this one. We're going to see. Um, and hopefully we get this this game announced. Um, Mercury is uh, having a tough time with the keyboard tonight. Um, <laughs> love to see it. Love to see it. <laughs> we got a ready from Bobbert. I got a ready from Mercury. So we are going into Runasapi. Uh, fun yeah. map. Uh, it is. Of... All the maps, it is a map. It is a map. I played it on um, Pugs, and it was a really sweaty Pug. So, like, that's my only yeah. experience I've ever had with the map. It's fun. Yeah, it's Were got you a in lot that of... Probably. I was uh, playing against Joey. He shattered me, and I was on Lucio. I was really sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's got a lot of hallways. Like, it's got a lot of close-quarter hallways fighting that, if you can make it through undetected allows for a lot of flank angles, a lot of verticality with the ball or the Farah or the Echo. Um, yeah, very my, sneaky. Yeah, my takeaway, though, is that you have to be sneaky, right? You can't just flank. Like, you can't just, you know, hop on Tracer and go, I'm going to run around the far side and no one will be there to hear me. Because everything is so interconnected with those corridors. It's so close. You can hear them, Ready right? The it's just, yeah, you can tell when people are nearby very often and they know you're there and they can get to you quickly. There's not a lot of reaction time. You got to be sneaky to get the jump on somebody here. Which, I mean, clearly the tanks know this. Both tanks about to roll out on the Hammond. Um, we do see the tracer from Banana Man, Mercury, with the uh, cast. I think it's going to be nice to fight against whatever the dive tank is coming their way. Bobber's going to stick with the comfort pick on the Junkrat Sizer on a uh, soldier to put a little pressure in general. Double double serious healing out of Tim and Fire Chicken. Hawk's going to be on the Mercy, probably pocketing that cast, I think. Check the yeah. a little bit on the arm. And that's all you can really pocket here, right? Um, I guess mean, you can pocket your Ana. Nah, I'd love I that. Mean, you, you can follow, right? You can follow whatever <laughs> the dive is on the tracer. As it yeah, yeah. So they can take a little nappy, then taking a little anti nade, you know, getting pressured out by lazy turtle abilities. Ziggy is still low, not getting healed. Timmy is falling, and that is why. Um, Fire Chicken coming over trying to help, but gets absolutely obliterated by a uh, Mercury Turtle there. Um, Fire Chicken had to fade to try and catch up to Ziggy, unable to do so. Um, you see. I just Mercury instinctively turtle. tried to ping Sizer, who's the last alive and taking Mercury <laughs> Turtle with him. I just instinctively tried to ping him, was like, oh, yeah, that soldier's back here. Please come help. <laughs> Please. Help, help, help. No, they did what, need what a good help, fight, but. We got there. Nice and clean with the res. Hawk's going to make sure that Mercury's still in the fight, able to take whatever angle they want to start this one. Yeah, We're Banana Man and Mercury Turtle taking a very aggressive positioning here. Banana Man is going to die. Absolutely, right? No. Sure. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess, you know, you got a lot of abilities. That's the way to get out. Fish. Fish. Oh my goodness. Gonna die, right? Should? No. Uh, no, that's a lot of temp HP. I don't know. Wow. Oh my god, Fish went for- oh, how much is- how much is Ball's max HP? 775? Went from 775 to like 10 
back up to like 500 with <laughs> shields. Breaker's roll is 1 HP on the flank, gets taken down by Ziggy. Uh, Fish is gonna fall. A little back and forth right here. And now in the favor of Triple B, who they're getting to push a little bit now. You know, get a little push progress going. Get a little move back on, uh, on the offense. Oh, run, Lazy Turtle, run. Run! Take escape. Don't do it. I mean, I think no. rounding this corner is really the hard part. You get that high ground kicks in for the defender side, makes yeah. things a little bit rough on the twist. So, if they can manage to take a fight halfway here, you can see Ziggy wants it. He's hoping to find somebody for the boat. And they're committing in right now. They're going with the Four slam and the high noon. Too. Yeah, nice. what a good combo here. Um, the lamp comes out, but it just uh, it doesn't matter, I guess. I didn't. Uh, is that true that um, High Noon targets Lamp nowadays? Is that real? Uh, my instinct says yes, but I'm I'm unsure. I feel like it shouldn't. Maybe maybe like it physically body blocks somebody. That'd be pretty cool. That, anyway, we got some kills cool. coming through um, on the side of Tilt here. Um, wow, wow. Solid recontest. I mean. They win it back evenly with that high noon slam combo and then just walk it on back for another kill or two to get yeah. right back into the push. Here's the second point. Yeah, and you, yeah, and you like you solidify it with the uh, with the mercy ult, right? And um, one pick and a tire coming through here and hawk falling as well. That's lazy turtle. Tried to sleep the tire. Not going to work, unfortunately. It should. <laughs> it should. Mercury Turtle up in Narnia yet again, um, might I add. <laughs> well, you know, these things happen. It's gonna cost they do. Life, but... They do indeed do. Could be a quick contest here, although it's gonna be fast to push the bot to the second check mark to now get the run spawn. So I think the robber has a pretty Poor good Lazy Turtle. My goodness, I'm sorry, Lazy Turtle's got this <laughs> solo ulted by Ziggy. I was expecting it to happen at some point. I mean, I think Ziggy might be about ready to get off the hard after this ult. Might, might be proven wrong, but... Uh, I'm not surprised I mean, to see I mean, a solo ult. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it can work against the ball here, and it really is in the fact that Ziggy's really kind of ignoring ball for the most part. Uh, not necessarily this fight, but like in general, Ziggy is ignoring the ball and just getting like getting hooks on the squishies, right? Leading to the kills. Banana Man putting in work here. Pulse Bomb comes through, does not find anybody. Fish tries to combo in with the uh, pile drive, does not end up getting anybody initially, but Banana Man and Fish putting in work on Sizer and Timmy here. Banana Man falls about it, Lazy Turtle takes down that Junkrat though. And they are not gonna have Forge spawn. They are like, just just barely away. They hit it, right? No, both teams are literally tied. They? Both teams are yeah, literally are the tied. same distance right now, except for red team has. But no, no, no. Did it but first. no, no, no. Blue, blue team did not get four spawn. No, they they clicked, and that's that's why they have they the definitely exact did. same. That's why they have. It's the great. Same progress. It's grayed out. Oh, you're, it's grayed out. It's not lit up. I guarantee that I'm right here. Look at look at blues. Look at blue side. They don't have the gray. They didn't get the four spawn. They're point three three away. Oh my god. We have just discovered that. <laughs> We've just discovered that it is 0. .33 shorter if you were um, the red Second team on this map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or, or that. Yeah, so sorry. Uh, There's a fight. Uh, things have happened. Yeah. There are important things happening here. I haven't paid any attention. Uh, the um, important thing is the fight's happening while the bot is running back to mid. Yeah, it looks like... It, from my from my quick assessment, it looks like Bobber hopped on it and just ran it back to, to middle. Um, canceled the forge spawn, and then Banana Man went and like looked at him. Bobber just walked casually back to his team. <laughs> what a what in the world am I watching right now? I, I don't know what we just came back to. <laughs> oh no, they're just looking at him. <laughs> I mean, they got a good chunk of cart movement for it, but I mean, you know, killed a good chunk of cart movement for the side. <laughs> More of the traps, you pansies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. They do have all the traps they can get, right? I mean, I guess you could play Ram and call that a trap, but then you lose Hogs, which is definitely... Yeah, that's definitely a trap. I think right, this fight so. probably determines a lot of the match. Yeah, my my brain is kind of mush at this point, I'm not going to lie to you, but Ziggy is low. I, in fact, Fire Commander, you heard a fall. 
I'm Ziggy. that tire in somebody's face and they just ran away. They just disappeared the second he threw it. Alright. Forge spawn activated. Lead also activated. Fight win also activated. Wow, wow, well, we wow. Well. Wow, second wow. point now, as long as you push forward, you get to fight in an archway. There's not as many flank options. Push yeah, this archway is really strong as defenders. This is a really good place to defend from. They're just going to try to get into the back line. A little early, though. The rest of the team not quite ready. So now Mercury Turtles in a little bit back. Trying to put some pressure from Bar finds the kill on the Bobber to start things off. Yeah, they're trying sim to play around this uh, the sim wall. It was kind of working, and it ended up working out really well. Hawk gets gets go galacked. Yeah, and the hooks I mean, just coming through. Kill. Ziggy, is it enough? Though? I don't think I, the wall's I enough. Think, well, I think I think we've got enough here now. We've got the Kitsune coming through, but Fire Chicken falls to Mercury. That Mercury now down to Timmy. It's Ziggy, Sizer, and Timmy versus one fish. Who's gonna win? Well, they have to use a coalescence about it. Looks like the fish falls. And wait, that nano got cancelled. Oh, sad. I'm case. crying for Lazy Turtle. Pulse Bomb coming in, Banana Man with a Desperation Pulse. It seems a little early for a Desperation Pulse, if you ask me. Alright. This is absolutely last fight. Mercury Turtle is trying to get a little bit of a pick. Has Barrage in 5%, cannot die here. Fish doing a little bit of step, and Ziggy just walks in and kills Lazy Turtle, though. Uh, misses the hook on Banana Man, who is on the Sojourn now. Makes sense for the really desperation wants to play, pick I guess. Here. Can't quite find it. Both supports get very low, but not enough. Yeah, man, Ziggy is just a menace right now. Nobody is looking at him, and he's just walking around and killing people. Mercury Turtle's alive, not anymore. Ziggy has the ultimate. Banana Man comes in, gets the touch off, but Lazy Turtle yeah. off the map. Hawk also taking a nice little glide to the pace. Fish pops the mines. But is hooked off the point. Ziggy, the real MVP of that fucking push. Holy cow. Good well, job. Well Ziggy. done. Ziggy, well done. Bobberts, Banana Boys. 3 1 victory. Pachi is going to be Mercury Turtle, though. Getting some kills up on the high ground here. Finds three? Well, before? Oh, yeah. Yeah, really Apache, good, then. really good open right there. Um, if only they could have like kind of like channeled that additional energy, right? Um, so I believe that we're two two currently. Did we lose? No, is it over? Triple B one, triple B one. That's it. It's official. Uh, I suppose uh, I didn't know what was going on. Um, yeah, we got things a little bit a little bit backwards uh, on the scorecard. My apologies. Um, it is three for Triple B, a one for Tilt. Um, that is our final score here, and I am surprised. I thought we were going to map five. I can't keep track of anything though, so <laughs> oops. I did kind of expect um, a map five. Not gonna lie, the way things yeah. rolled out seemed like the turtles were uh, pretty strong out of the gate, just couldn't quite find their footing. And in the second yeah. point, come on. And that's kind of how uh, push goes, right? One team starts Absolutely. to snowball and just can't break it yeah i mean you know and, the same. yeah a valiant effort no no uh, no doubts about that you know um, so valiant we thought we were heading to map five right we, we thought it was really just that close um and honestly i'd say the only dominant performances that very last push was ziggy's roadhog and then what the uh, the ziggy doom on third point Li Zhong. everything else was just like blow for blow. Um, yeah, it was a good clean and, fight. I mean, yeah, I participated in a in a three one game last night on the losing end, and definitely felt like it was still a close game. Like the scoreboard might show you that there was a bit of a gap, but I would say otherwise. All the matches here tonight were pretty competitive. I think that for the first two games of the season so far, I've seen them both. I think we've got a good one on our hands, folks. Uh, we've got yeah. more games coming up soon here. It's going to we be... don't have one tomorrow because we right. have a reschedule. a reschedule. That is actually right. my team. That is uh, uh, the Gindy Ballers, and I don't know who we're playing. But we, uh, uh, we've rescheduled. It will be streamed not this coming Saturday, but the next. Um, this next stream that you guys will be able to tune into is going to be on Thursday. Um, that is definitely a team versus another team. Make sure to come and uh, check them out. Oh, Biscuits will be playing uh, 
peanut butter, Pookie Bears and Jesus. That's it. That's it. <laughs> so, um, so they are they're gonna have a really good really really good match i'm sure on this coming thursday make sure to tune in for that that will wrap up week one as far as timing goes um next week we've got a jam-packed screen stream schedule you know monday tuesday wednesday thursday regularly scheduled games and then a restream saturday of the um the reschedule um for the game that was scheduled for tomorrow so busy busy week of casting and uh and streams being put on for you guys next week make sure to come and check out some of those um Thank you all so much for Twitch Primes. Thank you, Dan, for joining me in the booth here. Um, Woo. Thank you, Micah, so Woo. very much. DJ Soda. Um, we really appreciate you guys. We appreciate all you viewers um, for hanging out. You know, this, uh, I say it as many times as I can. This community is uh, what makes this important, and you guys hanging around really helps build to that. So thank you for that. Um, on behalf of my lovely, uh, my lovely friends here, Dan and Micah, we will wish you all a good evening, and we will see you next time. Peace.